Our shared goal in this committee is to advance bipartisan durable policy that will expand nuclear energy and its benefits for the nation. Chair Rogers and Ranking Member Fallon and DeGette and I sent a bipartisan request for information to a variety of stakeholders this past April. Based on feedback from this request and the hearings we've had since, it's clear that more can be done to modernize the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the Department of Energy, to advance nuclear energy in this country. In our July legislative hearing, we heard from the NRC and DOE and industry experts on how the nuclear bills will help restore American nuclear leadership. For example, my legislation would align the mission of the NRC with the policy goals of the American, uh, excuse me, the Atomic Energy Act to maximize the benefits of nuclear for general welfare. Several bills will improve the NRC licensing by creating clearer time frames, cutting hourly fees for advanced reactors, and avoiding duplicative environmental reviews, and directing that NRC should do its work in a timely, and efficient, and predictable way. Other bills seek to advance nuclear deployment at the DOE and will enable the United States to regain our global nuclear leadership. I'm proud of the bipartisan work on these 12 bills and optimistic that we'll get to a place on two bills not listed today, which remain important priorities. Mr. Griffith's legislation would eliminate an outdated hearing requirement, NRC, which the commission itself has said is not needed. Mr. Wahlberg's bill similarly would update NRC requirements involving an advisory committee. These are priorities that we want to continue moving through the Energy and Commerce Committee.